to house these cats. If you know of a, a, build, a stray building <laughs> that's not being used, that's, that's not too, too hard to heat, uh, they'll be able to renovate it, don't worry. Uh, but they do need it in the Westfield area. And give them a call, would you please? Be a, give some wonderful gift to uh, the, not only all the pets in the world, but to the people that are doing so much work. Stray Cat Rescue, again, 581-0463. If you have any clue as to where there might be a building available for, uh, as a gift or for a very minimal amount. Another interesting thing here, Vesta. It's a play. It's written by Byron Hernital and uh, describes Vesta, who's an elderly woman who's at the end of the line, if you know what I mean, and what she's doing and what to do. And it, 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 basically, it's a, fr a free play. You can go over there, incidentally. It's at the Park Methodist Church in uh, Sinclairville. Uh, that's right on uh, Sinclairville Drive, 49. And uh, it's held Friday, April 16th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. So you can go over and watch the plays for free. And it gives you a lot of great information. Of course, it emphasizes everybody should have a health care proxy. That means you, you have it in writing that you pick someone to make decisions for you. And if you go under in a hospital or somewhere, you're, you're out of it, and you're terminal, they will do what they have to do. They will tell them what you wanted. And if you wanted to live forever, they'll tell you, give them this the tube, feed them with a tube, put the tubes in here and the tubes in there and keep them alive as long as possible. If you don't want to go for that, you can say, you know, just off me, please. I'm, I'm at the end of the line. I'm terminal. I'm in pain. I want to go home. God is calling me. Don't stop him. Let me go. Martin Luther King. <laughs> so at any rate, get your health care proxy in order. And if you want to go home on the uh, express, tell them no hydration. And you'll be gone before you know it. <laughs> that's what mine says, I might add. When, I'm, when it's over, it's over, and you know it. And that's a fact of life for seniors, and we're the ones who know what the score is because we're the ones who are facing the final exam here, which is why we go to church more often. <laughs> ah, yeah, some senior citizen news. Um, Brockton, Portland, Liz Marks is the one doing the coffee. And have a happy birthday. And another happy birthday over at the, uh, they always meet incidentally at the American Legion Club over there, or the Brock American Legion, you know, it's right on the main drag on Route 20. Tom DeJoe is the president. If you live in the Brockton, Portland area, jump on it. Join the group. Birthday over there. Again, the Catherine Fabritas. Oh, these are beautiful people here. I got some more news here. I should uh, put these away in order. Okay. You'll uh, have to forgive me if I'm a little slow on the reading because you know these old peepers aren't working the way they used to. Neither are the horns here. <laughs> you have to shout when you're on the phone. <laughs> uh, okay, they're having their next meeting incidentally is April 26th at noon at the Nickel Plate Restaurant. They're going to have a dinner there, fish dinner. Can't go wrong. They're celebrating their 35th anniversary. April meeting is Phyllis Revolts. And Nancy Strickland and Lena Elliott. Dunkirk Federated! What a bunch over there. Um, the, the president is Betty uh, Korzenowski, and she leads uh, the group there, does it? Does a hell of a job, too. They have a wonderful group there, and they have a great center for they, where they meet, an old school. Indoor race, indoor track. You can run around it in the, in the uh, winter. Uh, I wanted to mention they're having a free lunch April 6th for paid up members. Dunkirk Senior Center at 11.15. And uh, Christopher will be watching the shop, doing the coffee and cake and stuff and everything, you know. All right. I got something, a note here from Mark Carmel, a uh, quickie. They're, they have a great group, and they invite anybody to join them. <laughs> That's it. Okay. The meeting of the Mount Carmel Social Club was held at St. Rose Hall. And uh, new members and guests are always invited, and uh, they have a... Uh, Meeting coming up April 7th, and Thelma and Ernie Milliker, Hilliker will be doing the job, as well as Bob Kittel. They have a Chinese auction coming up. You know, they're a lot of fun. Nobody quite knows who's going to win them. <laughs> Bring in a newer, slightly used item and join up if you want to. Silver Creek. The Silver Creek seniors have a place uh, down on Route 5 and Route 20, about where it intersects. A wonderful new place. And they have a big bunch there, and everybody's celebrating Easter, of course, colored eggs and, you know, the whole schmear, uh, chocolate Easter bunnies. 
<laughs> you ever see that cartoon of the two Easter bunny, chocolate Easter bunnies looking at each other? One has his ears, somebody bit his ears off, and he says, you know, I can't hear. And the other one has his tail end all bitten off. He says, you think you've got problems? Silver <laughs> 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 so Creek, the guy over there is Ed Newman. Join him, get involved, say hello. They have a huge group, and Silver Creek is just a, a, a tremendous um, Mary uh, Merv Smith called uh, bingo, incidentally, because they always have bingo after all senior meetings. <laughs> they have an open house over in, uh, in Silver Creek, April 17th. Six to nine at Liberty Wines. Fifteen bucks, but you get all the wine you can drink. And they'll carry you home if you need. <laughs> Westfield, a bunch over there. Shirley Copine does the job over there, and Shirley Copine has a a wonderful husband who is a renowned firefighter. He's been in the fire department for so long that people can't remember when he joined. <laughs> Nobody was there <laughs> who's still alive. And, and John, uh, he's the head of the, he, he directs the uh, traffic police for the uh, fire department who do a lot of work. They're out there in all sorts of weather and they have to direct traffic when the ambulances go in and out of the engines or whatever because you just cannot uh, risk them hitting somebody. Tanglewood Miner sent cookies over there and uh, d gift certificates for uh, Walmart. Gladys Hess and Carl Harper won those. Can't go wrong. They're going to have the drawing for free gas tickets. Um, and uh, they have another, uh, they have a Chinese auction coming up too. <coughs> the April 8th meeting will be a dinner at 6 p.m. The Westfield Women's Organization, WWO, will be serving a soup supper. John Wolfe's going to talk about the McClurg Mansion. That's that beautiful old home. You know, McClurg was a rich old man, and when he built that, he actually set up a brick factory to make bricks for it. He's got it's made it's built out of bricks. Back in when Westfield was a uh, was a spot in the in the woods, <laughs> and it's a gorgeous thing. He gave the park to the town eventually, and uh, to the village, and each corner was supposed to have a church, and was. A quarter of the park was for a church in each corner. Well, only two of them made it. <laughs> That's St. Peter's Episcopalian Church and the uh, church on the other corner, which is crushed my daughter. All right, enough said. They tell me I'm just wandering on and I'm saying nothing important. And the news time is over. And so I'm going to quit. The, I'm sorry, people. I'm, I'm finished. There's a couple more announcements here, but I can't make them. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to a public service announcement, and this is just for you. Here it goes. I work on my computer all day. Can I fill out my census form online? While the U.S. Census Bureau would prefer to offer the convenience of an online form, at this time, our research has found that your information is better protected when handled on either a mail-out, mail-back basis, left on your doorstep, or brought to you directly by a census worker. This ensures that your responses are kept confidential and in the right hands. Please note that the form is not available online and do not fill out any form that claims it is the 2010 Census Questionnaire sent to you via email or that you are directed to on the internet. It will be a scam. The 2010 Census Form will never ask for your Social Security number or for any credit card information. So if you are asked for this information, it is not a legitimate Census Form. Okay, there you go, the census. Fill in your form. There's some of the questions are very impertinent and nosy. And I wrote N.A. a couple of times because uh, it's none of their business how much I make. Uh, in the meantime, it has nothing to do with the census, I might add. Although they say, well, it'll affect the money your county gets and all that baloney. Well, I, I don't think so. In the meantime, uh, send, it, send it in. I sent mine in the very first day I got it. I got it and I put in the, uh, filled it in. It takes a lot longer than 10 minutes, I might add. Uh, because you've got to put in your spouse and everybody living in the house with you. So it becomes a pretty long, uh, detailed thing. And they ask everything about, the, about you, including when you go to bed and who you go to bed with and everything. Well, not quite that much, but a lot. It's pretty darn nosy. And uh, theoretically, all you've got to do is tell them your name and where you live. That's it, technically. Um, 
this long form i filled it in anyway because i'm a law abiding